Well, good morning, everybody. I guess Heather Antos, the editor for Star Trek for IDW, didn't like my article, which talked about how they had a Vulcan lecturing the readers about they, them pronouns. Heather, I know you called this <laughs> harassment, but uh, what you mean is criticism. I'm talking about a comic book, which you left something cringy inside that comic book. I just talked about the comic book. That's not harassment. That's called somebody who's a critic. It's okay, Heather. You'll be okay. And we'll get to what she's saying in a second because she's subtweeting about me, doing her little routine. By the way, what she's doing is the actual definition of harassment. What the people in the comic book industry do with their blacklists over politics, with their just abject hatred of anybody who votes or thinks differently than them, and uh, the way that they have their little whisper network and make sure that nobody's allowed to talk to anybody else, and then they go out and they subtweet so that you know what they're talking about, and then they whine about you in DMs, that's actually harassment. What you do, Heather, is harassment, and what you've done to the industry is destructive, and that's why we cover it uh, over here on the channel and bounding into comics. All right. We'll get into this in just a second. It's very funny stuff, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun this morning, and I hope you'll join me. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and guys, uh, I'm such a, quote, wannabe comic writer, which we'll get into also, uh, that I've got this. This is the Cosmic Warrior, and I've got a hardcover version of this. My hardcovers usually sell for $50, but I have 10 of them in stock right now, and I want to move them because, like, this is important. I am a sci-fi author, and I wrote a sci-fi superhero in The Cosmic Warrior. This is a strong male lead, a Christian male lead, the opposite of everything that the industry does. And I didn't present it in a cringy way. I did it in a way that is professional, that's well-written, that's a really wonderful story, and I want to get this out to you. So a lot of people weren't around when The Com Cosmic Warrior came out, and I, I find that kind of sad because uh, th this wasn't one of my older comic books, and we now have a much bigger following. So I want to make sure that you get this into your hands quickly. So... For the next 24 hours, I've got 10 of these in stock. I'm going to be selling my hardcovers for $25. You can see it right here. This is the paperback price right here. I know it says signed paperback edition. It means hard. It says hardcover. My bad. But uh, just grab this right now. 24 hours to go. And then w once these are gone or once that 24 hours is up, I'm yanking it and it's going to be back to normal. So check this out. I'm going to leave this link in the description below. This will be at the top. Again, this is quality science fiction writing, and it's uh, the kind that Heather should be uh, trying to champion for Star Trek. Uh, Heather, you know, I'm, st I'm still available if you if you need me uh, to save your Star Trek line there. <laughs> Let's see what happened yesterday. So I got this notification from uh, one of my friends uh, because, uh, you know, of course, Heather's got me blocked on this uh, this website, Twitter. And she's got her little blue check mark, as you know, which she's very upset because she's not going to be able to afford $8 a month uh, to keep her blue check mark uh, with Elon Musk. What's interesting is me, as quote, a wannabe comic writer, I have no problem affording that. So I'm going to be able to get my blue check mark as Heather loses it. Uh, so she'll be the wannabe at that point, and I'll be the one who is uh, actually the professional here. It's a, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but here she goes. Uh, and uh, actually, somebody within the industry sent me this. By the way, these people think they control the industry. There's a lot of people, Heather, who do not, do not play by your little games. They're a little scared to talk about it publicly, but mm, they talk to me despite, despite your best efforts. <laughs> so here she goes. She says, imagine being such a sad and pathetic wannabe comics writer that you spend years slandering and harassing editors on YouTube only to still send emails to them begging to pitch on their properties. Okay. So let's parse this out for a second. So she calls me a wannabe comic writer. My last comic book, Overmind, which is just one comic that I came out with this year, I came out with more, made $42,000. So I don't know what IDW pays, but again, Heather is having trouble affording uh, $8 a month for Twitter Blue. She is uh, having trouble affording a laptop when hers broke. Uh, I just got my laptop uh, because mine broke last week. This is a brand new one right here. And uh, I just bought it uh, out of my business funds, and uh, I just wrote it off as a business expense. It was not a big deal. But to her, she had to go and whine on Twitter, talk about how she needed to do commissions to get a laptop because she can't afford it. So it sounds like her position is the wannabe position in the industry. She's got a title. She's got her little clout. She's got her little blue check mark for now. But she doesn't have money from what she's doing. Is she truly a professional? It doesn't seem like it. And what I pointed out last week with these they, they them pronouns entering the Star Trek books is that, you know, this is not a job of an editor. This is somebody who's letting this politics sleep seep through 
trying to lecture readers rather than provide them quality entertainment for their buck. And that's exactly why these lines keep failing over and over and over again. So uh, the wannabe writer, I've got 43 comics written to my name. Uh, and of course, uh, they're doing great. Uh, they're selling over and over and over again. Every day I sell more on Amazon, on my website, uh, on my, my crowdfund campaigns. They try to stop me. They, they report me on these websites to try to make it so I can't do commerce. That's how sick these people are. But <clears throat> I'm winning and I'm making more than Heather. It's great. So she says, I spend years slandering and harassing editors on YouTube. Again, I just report the news here. Uh, this is your tweet, Heather. I'm just reading it and then commentating on it. So this is spending years harassing me on, <laughs> on Twitter, right? By your own definition, isn't it? Oh, no, I didn't name him. Yeah, we all know who you're talking about. We're not, we're not retarded. So here we go. And still sends emails to them begging to pitch on their properties. Now, this is where it gets fun, my, my friends. And let's go back to another Heather Antos tweet. So this is from June 28th, 2022. And she says, it's fascinating to me how many people out there claim to be want to be writers but don't want to pitch stuff to write. So uh, when I saw this out on Twitter, uh, I took it and I'm like, okay, well, here we go. This is interesting. And another comic uh, uh, writer in the industry who, who is not supposed to talk to me uh, around this time actually said to me, uh, why don't you try pitching these companies? You, you write, you're, you're kind of in a spot where like, you know, you're, uh, you're pretty prolific. I'm, I'm probably one of the most prolific people in indie comics. It's, it's interesting. Uh, why don't you just try pitching some of these editors and just see, see what the response is? And I, and I laughed and I said, it's all about politics. You know, you know, there's no way somebody sees my name and actually looks at a pitch. It's pretty funny. So I wrote a pitch via email because she was requesting this. She was saying that writers don't do it. And uh, I wrote this. Uh, I, I said, uh, the, within a couple hours of her tweet here, I said, I saw you were looking for writers to pitch uh, stories on Twitter. Again, she claims now that this is begging to pitch. Uh, I just said she, she posted she was looking at it. I wrote her a pitch. I'd like to pitch a Star Trek story for comics based on my experience of a writer of 17 novels, several of which are number one bestsellers. You think that'd be a, a nice uh, thing to add uh, to her deal? And of course, my award-winning sci-fi comics, which are doing incredibly well on Kickstarter, as I mentioned. Uh, Overmind's uh, sold a lot of copies, and uh, you know people are loving it. So you'd think she'd want to take a look at it. I have a reputation for hitting deadlines like clockwork, being very easy to work with, and naturally being one of the most prolific writers in independent comics. I also know my Star Trek lore in deep detail. I really do. So I give her an elevator pitch. I give her a plot. It's a couple paragraphs long. And I say, let me know. I'd be happy to pitch concepts for the original series, Deep Space Nine or Voyager as well. Thank you for reading. Uh, let me know if that sounds good. Very simple. That's not begging to pitch uh, as she frames it. Uh, I am just replying to her tweet here. And so later on, of course, because now I'm submitting, <laughs> you see that she goes, this isn't in reference to me not getting pitches from writers, the sheer number of writers who literally just want to talk about writing without doing. Uh, so of course, she clarifies that she is indeed getting pitches. Uh, and she doesn't want them. <laughs> Again, everything these guys tweet and subtweet is just about whining. It's about complaining. It's never about actually like anything actionable in the industry. Uh, it's it's really sad. It's just it's just her being angry at writers or at somebody for some reason, and then she passive aggressively uh, talks about it on Twitter. She shouldn't use her Twitter like that. And IDW should be like, dude, knock it off. Stop attacking writers on Twitter. Uh, who are making money in the industry. It's very, very much not a good look, but you know, it's a, like I said, it's about politics. It's not about actually what's going on. So um, I wrote her yesterday, uh, based on this email, we, we were laughing about this on my, or this uh, tweet, we were, we were laughing about it on, uh, on my live stream. <clears throat> and of course she calls me a wannabe writer, a very funny stuff. So I, I, I write her back, I said, I saw your subtweet about me in my pitch. Was there something you didn't like about it? I'm a professional comic writer known for being a good guy with no drama and on-time books. I would be happy to work in Star Trek, and I think it would be fun. Uh, and I, <laughs> this is where I get a little mean. Look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm human. I'm human, my friends. <laughs> I said, since you call me a wannabe writer, uh, let it be known that my last comic book, Overmind, made more money than you make in a year at IDW. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, tit for tat, Heather. If you're going to go at me like this publicly, uh, then definitely uh, I, I can be a little snide back, I think. I think that's fair. It's not harassment, Heather. It's okay. So here she goes. <laughs> Within minutes, she replies on Twitter. <laughs> it's amazing. If you feel like you constantly have to remind folks you're a good guy, maybe, in fact, you are not. 
I think it's very funny. So these guys, these these editors, these people in, in the comic industry who are obviously mentally ill, uh, act like they know you uh, because they've seen a tweet of yours, because they've read an article of yours, uh, because they know that you are the other tribe. Uh, they're they're very low IQ, and then they just have these total emotional overreactions. Every single one of them. It's not just it's not just the women in the industry. It's just SJWs in general, and that's why they like can't focus on their properties. They can't do good work because they're so busy flipping out, emotionally reacting to people like me on YouTube that like they can't concentrate on getting the actual work done. And that's actually why these properties like Star Trek, Star Wars, etc., have problems. Uh, when Heather took over Valiant Comics, Valiant Comics went from one of the most hailed independent uh, groups in the industry to just like absolute garbage nobody was reading. Uh, nobody was paying attention to the continuity of the books. They were just coming in and just wholesale changing everything about the characters. And nobody likes that. The fans were complaining like crazy. Uh, I, you know, there's not that many Valiant fans out there and none of them liked what was going on. It was really sad to watch. But it's because of stuff like this, it's because of these snide attitudes, they don't accept criticism. They don't talk to their customers. They actually look down upon the customers. They, they're like, look, I'm the senior editor with a blue check mark. You bow before me. And that's not really how it should be. As somebody who's trying to create entertainment, I try to service you uh, as, the, as the reader, as the viewer. I try to entertain you. If you don't like something I'm doing, I need to adjust that. That's important. That's called my job, right? <laughs> so I try to keep that into account when I'm making things, when I'm trying to create content, when I'm trying to have fun. I guess that's what a wannabe writer does, right? Uh, <laughs> not a professional like Heather. But it's really sad to watch this at the end of the day because they're spiraling out of control and they know it. Now, my industry contact says that Heather is unhappy at IDW or maybe IDW is unhappy with Heather and she's out there actively looking for a different job, but there's really not many left to jump to in the comic industry. She's jumped a lot in the last couple of years. We'll see how that, if that comes to fruition. It's just a rumor, but uh, that's what I was told. So we'll see what happens here. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out the Cosmic Warrior hardcover special. Heather, if you want a copy, go to my website right here. That link's going to be the first in the description below. Again, selling them at like half off prices. I'm trying to move units today. I'm going to mail them out today. Uh, make sure you grab these. Thanks, chat. See you.